welcome back to cooking with ash so today we will be making some delicious beef curry recipe and this is the traditional Guyanese style you know back home how they used to cook it for like reading and stuff like that this recipe was requested by princess d williams here on the channel thank you so much love for your recipe request i will do my best to prepare this the traditional way okay meaning i do have a beef curry recipe already on the channel but you know i added some of the american spices that i use but this is going to be straight up how they used to cook it back home in guyana not all the um, bottle seasoning and stuff like that just the natural spice and herbs and stuff like that that they would get also i want to shout out i write it down i can't remember everybody's name but i want to shout out to one of our fan here on the channel christian big shout out to you thank you for all your love and support on the channel backstory about this christian uh, mom alana here lol taught me agriculture science in school so now he's a fan on the channel so big shout out to you christian big big shout out thank you for all your support and keep on trying those amazing recipes and i hope you get mommy to cook more often for you in the kitchen so let's get to the ingredients that we will be using to prepare our delicious beef curry so right here we have some onions and i'm gonna use a few cloves some um, ginger that i went and grated up i'm using some maridman poke i have here broad leaf thyme scallion we're very pepper um you can use any spicy pepper of your choice um you can eliminate the pepper if you don't like spicy food or you could use less I have here some fresh chopped garlic, I'm using some cilantro. So basically what you can do, you can put all this in a food processor and chop it up. You don't have to, you can just chop it up by hand like this. You know, some people grind everything up and hence they would call it the green seasoning. But you don't have to do that part, I just chop everything up. It's going to be cooked regardless in the pot. I'm using here some curry powder. Um, I have some curry powder, I'm using some jeera roasted jeera i have some turmeric and garam masala so let's get to the pot and start so we're gonna start off as you can see i break out my big karahi here and we're gonna start off our beef you know here so i have my oil i'm gonna i'm using coconut oil you know you can use whatever oil you feel like let us know in the comment where you're watching from where you're tuning in from so we can shout you out. Um, if you're a fan on the channel, let us know so I can shout you guys out also. And if you do try any of my recipes and you want to send us pictures, feel free to send me um, any pictures of recipes that you try. Ashiana27 at hotmail.com. I will put it here in the video. So anyone that tries the recipes and want to send it to us pictures, feel free to do that so we can post it on the channel. I am going to show you a clip at the end of this video. Um, Riza did our gilbaka curry and the thing looks so good. So Riza, big up yourself. We'll show you that picture that he sent us. So um, I went ahead and add uh, my coconut oil here. This is our beef I have here prepared, and I am using the beef short ribs. I love to use the beef um, beef short ribs, as you can see the marbling on the beef, meaning the fat has like a nice good fat content on it. Also, I have the bone on it. This flavors your curry really, really well. So you can feel free to use, you know, what sort of meat, what part of the cow you want to use, or even if you're making goat or whatever you know but make sure there is good marbling on the um, meat so now that our oil is heating up really nice here i'm gonna go in and start adding our aromatics and we're gonna start bunjay or bunjal the curry in goes the onion the cilantro the garlic pretty much everything that i have chopped up on the cutting board i'm gonna go in and add it here now And as you can see, I didn't season the beef, guys. I didn't add no season to the beef. And this is how they did it back home. Uh, you know, back in the days, all the seasons would be in the grind seasoning. 
that they prepare. And I didn't grind up this season, I'm just using it fresh here. Feel free to grind it up if you want to. Nothing is wrong with it that way. So I'm gonna lightly saute um, everything here until um, the onions start to become translucent and every uh, you know all the aromatics is releasing its flavor in the oil so this is going to take about a three minutes or four minutes depending on the heat you're cooking it so i'm going to come back and show you the next step so now that everything is nice and fried up and you know i'm going to go in with our masala and i'm using curry powder garam masala some turmeric and i have here some roasted jeera add everything to our oil and we're going to start to fry this up our bunjal or masala And this process you want to do really, really well. You want to bunjal it really well. So I'm going to go ahead and add some salt to this. And salt to taste, guys. So, you know, you have to know how much salt you like in your curry. So salt to taste, it's your preference. I am gonna go in with our water and I'm using like about three cups of water here. I like to use a lot of water to make sure my masala is well bungee. So I'm gonna let this fry up and bungee until it come back to the original consistency. And then I am going to proceed to add our beef here. So I'm gonna cover this and I'm gonna let it bungee and then I'm gonna come back and show you guys what it's looking like. So this is what our masala is looking like. As you can see, there is a great indication when the oil is separating from the masala, you know that the masala is ready. You know, it's bunjal or fry really good. I'm gonna go ahead and add our beef. And I have here a few thyme leaves that I'm adding to it too. So we're gonna go ahead and add the beef here. And let this um, bungee more. You know, you want to bungee this for at least 10 to 15 minutes. The beef is going to release its own liquid and you want to bungee that really, really well. What I usually do here, I usually drop my heat to low and let this bungee really, really good. Let all that delicious flavor seep into the meat. So I'm gonna mix everything in, make sure everything is well combined here. Then I'm gonna proceed to um, cover this, drop the heat to um, low, and let this bunjal really well. Throughout the cooking process, I'm gonna come in and turn the pot, you know, make sure everything is going good. Turn the pot and um, that's it. I'll add water when, you know, everything is well bunjal but this is what it's looking like so far. So this is what our beef is looking like. Remember, I said I wasn't gonna add any water. I'm gonna drop my heat and let it be, um, you know, on low and let this bunjal, it's gonna release its own juice, the beef. And as you can see, it released its own liquid and that's what you want. So I'm gonna bunjal this really well until most of this is absorbed. And that's when we're going to add our um, water. Also, if you haven't subscribed to the channel as yet, please do take a minute and hit that subscribe button. So this is what our beef is looking like. Most of the water is um, observed. I'm gonna go ahead now and add some hot water and this is from the kettle. I heat it up. Never add cold water to your meat when it's hot because it's going to shrink the meat and it's going to make it hard and it's gonna take long to cook. So I'm just gonna mix this in. And you wanna add enough water to this so that um, it covers the meat and it boils really good. You don't wanna keep adding, adding water. I usually, you know, add enough water to cover the meat. I'm gonna add some more water here. I'm just getting it heat up in the kettle and we're gonna let this simmer down and boil to the consistency we're looking for. And before it's finished, about 10 minutes or so, I am going to add potato. Do bear in mind, don't just leave, you know, cover the curry and walk away. Do come back and check it and make sure it's good, you know, 
it's not sticking or anything of the sort give it a turn once in a while so see you guys back when we're gonna add the potato so our curry have about 10 minutes not more I'm gonna go ahead and add some potato and some wiri wiri pepper to steam on top and wiri wiri pepper is option if you don't optional if you don't care for um you know more spice to it you don't have to but I love some wiri wiri pepper on mine also potato is optional my kids love potato I'm gonna mix that down and you want to boil this down further so probably in about 10 to 15 minutes time we're gonna have finished beef curry we're gonna plate this up and then we're gonna do a taste test for you guys the gravy is nice and rich already but this still have to go down more here is a picture of Riza Gilbaka curry. He tried our recipe and this is looking just beautiful. He have delicious okra and some tomatoes and I know he enjoyed this. So thank you so much Riza for all your love and support on our channel. We greatly appreciate it and thank you for trying our recipe and I hope you enjoy your gilbaka. This looks amazing. You have me craving gilbaka so do take a mouthful for us. To finish up our beef curry, I'm gonna go ahead and garnish it with some scallions and turn the heat off. We have an eager little girl waiting to taste test this. So time to sample this delicious curry. We have it plate up here. Well, of course, we have our taste tester, Atiana, and I'll be taste tester today too. She's going to be eating with spoon the American way. I'll do it the Guyanese way and go in with my fingers and son, it is curry really good. So this is what the finished beef curry is looking like. Hubby, you want to come in and show them? And we have Hubby behind the camera. Say hi. <laughs> Hello. So this is what it's looking like. We played it up beautifully and we're going to go in. So I'm going in, I'm going to break up everything here. I'm going in with my fingers and let me push this rice to the side and let's sunny this thing up. Let's get some gravy and look how nice and soft this meat is. It's falling off the bone guys. Ooh. Check that beef, curry and rice. Mm. Get, some, get some potato in there. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I am already drooling. Atiana went in on hers already. Take one bite. So I'm gonna put some of that scallion and I'm gonna bust this wiru wiru pepper inside. Mm, 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 mm. Let's do this, baby. Mix everything up and you guys ready? Mm. 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 So, so delicious. Perfect. Meat is so juicy, soft and tender. The potato cooked to perfection. Mm. And the pepper is, mm, it's fire. So I hope you guys enjoy this recipe and you do try it. Thank you so much for your love and support. See you guys soon again with another delicious recipe. I'm going to go up and finish my food. Love you guys. Bye. What are your thoughts? You didn't tell them. Oh, it's so good. It's just like, it's just so soft and it's so okay, good. Let's see you eat that piece. Every word. <laughs> go ahead, give them a bite. Mm. <laughs> so thank you guys so much love you all Mwah. blood and kisses Mwah.